How many of us deal with unwanted, negative calls, texts, and visitations while in the midst of planning something for our lives? Have you calculated how much time it consumes? To be honest, we all do. Before you know it, we regret how much time was wasted. So about a month ago, I was asked to be a guest for the You Can Show. And, through, and though fear consumed me, it quickly left with self-encouragement. And also knowing I had a whole month to plan it, right? Wrong. <laughs> I looked up and I had three weeks. And then I had two weeks. And then I had two days. And I still haven't had a topic stamped for today's encouragement. Where did my month go? <laughs> well, this is where my month went, guys. It went to 308 hours of work and being called in. It, I took phone calls that was discouraging to my dreams and aspirations in life. And it left me feeling, of course, discouraging. Um, I consume myself with my own thoughts of you can't and you shouldn't, and it's not time. All of the you can't thoughts that we talk about every day with the you can movement. So again, I ask you, how often do you receive this type of negative energy? Are there boundaries in place? In the midst of me giving my time away to the world and very limited time to myself, um, there was still no stamp topic for today. And I was feeling discouraged about how life was going in general. Because when you pour into everyone else and you look up, you pour no time into yourself. And that's something else we talk about. Mr. Rupert talk about every day. You have to put time into yourself. So the funny thing about how I came up with the topic today was I was bombarded with spam and scam likely calls while working on today's encouragement. So for those who don't know what a scam likely or a spam call is, it's all forms of unwanted communication for purposes of advertising and phishing. And of course, when you get a scam call or a, or a spam call, you hit ignore, you hit block, not follow me, you hit block, you hit ignore. And before you know it, those calls are, you know, stopping and you're continuing what you were doing. Now I'm going somewhere with this. Be honest. How often do you block out those calls and press ignore to those unwanted, negative, and undesirable spam calls? Family and friends, I am here to tell you that every time any form of unwanted communication presents itself, I encourage you to treat it just like a spam, treat it just like a spam uh, and a scam like we call. Set boundaries for every single form of spam in your life. My new definition of spam and scam likely is unwanted consumption of the time that enables me from pouring into my stuff. That is my definition of spam now. So I have a little funny story in the midst of me writing this, because I thought it was so awesome that spam and scam likely was getting on my nerves. I decided to call anybody who interrupted me preparing today as spam. So someone called me and asked me to do them a favor as I was concluding today's message. And I picked up the phone and was like, you're spam. <laughs> I said, you got to go, you're spam. And that was my boundary. And I encourage you, even though it's silly, I encourage you to set that boundary. So that job that I gave 308 hours to and I wasn't scheduled for that many hours, spam, blocked. That person who always need a ride, spam, say their number is spam, actually, do not disturb. That person shutting down your dreams and aspirations and taking up your time of the day, spam. And oh, this is the one that we all forget about. This is the one that we don't talk about. Those negative thoughts, you telling yourself you can't, also are spams. You need to block those as fast as those annoying calls and replace it with love, replace it with encouragement. So I would like to pray and ask God to give every viewer today a spirit of discernment to open their eyes to the spam-like communication we consume daily. I want every viewer to recognize the people, jobs, people, and even the thoughts are spam and set those boundaries. Um, I want you to shout spam when someone puts the spirit of doubt and fear over a vision that God gave you and you own. Black that person out like a scam likely. I want to encourage you not to take time for granted and not to allow the fraudulent, the spam, and the scam likely people, things, jobs, and even thoughts 
to occupy the gift of time. I need you to set boundaries and, and that will only allow you happiness and only allow you success. In Jesus' name, amen. So as our founder, our birthday boy would say, he would say, he can't see it for you, so I can't see it for you. I mean, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I can see it for you. I can want it for you and I can believe it for you. But what I can't do is I can't do it for you. Mr. Rope, are you there? You gonna sit with me? You right. can. <laughs> hey, how about that? 